What's on the tray today? It's a gas mask, properly called a civilian respirator from World War II, always called gas masks. Um, this one I was given many years ago uh, by a lady who brought it into the museum when I was down in Sussex. Anyone who visited me when I was down there, hello. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> the, um, the day she brought it in, I thought, oh, another gas mask, you know, but it's a nice little bag that it's in. I got quite a lot of them. Um, this, this little bag is nice though, because it's, it's Rexine, which is like um, an, an early plastic, plasticized fabric, which didn't work very well over long term. It gets very cr cracked and, um, and breaks easily. The respirator's in even worse condition. I will get it out for you just in case you've never seen one. But it is it is quite um, brutal. There you go. That's the, the, the face part and the rest of it's sort of disintegrated really. You have to be very careful with them because they do contain an amount of asbestos. So don't go knocking them around. Or This bag though... I will go on to say, I, I've never had this on display in the museum because it used to be one of the things I took around when I did my talks to WIs. Anybody who saw me on a talk for WI, hello, thank you for coming. Um, the, the beautiful thing about it that I used to explain to people in my talk is that in the front pocket of the gas mask is a cinema ticket and that was in there when I got the gas mask is that the right way no you're not the other way there it is okay <laughs> a cinema ticket in the front pocket i love that because it proves that this gas mask in its case went to the odeon cinema and the seat was one and two it was quite posh seats but I, it just proves that you took your gas mask with you everywhere. Um, you were supposed to, and a, 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 a lot, most people did. But towards the end of the war, it started to tail off a bit. And you, you can see pictures of, uh, of people without them. But mostly they've got them on and they're in a cardboard box over there. They were issued, this one's dated 1939. They were issued in 1938 and 39 which used to surprise me. I thought, how did they know there was going to be a war? The war didn't start until halfway through 1939. How did they know that, that they must have known, mustn't they? I think the government always know more than we know. They know, they know, they know, they know. This is a lovely thing. Sad, tragic, but an amazing survivor. <laughs>